Are we ready? So let's stand up tall and straight. Feet hip width apart. Knees nice and soft. Everybody there? Okay, let's start then. So we're going to find neutral spine. So we're going to rock the pelvis back and forward. Find that soft curve in your spine. And hold it in the centre. Find the tension around your waist. And the tension in your pelvic floor. Just find the level you can hold. And let's focus on the breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Big deep breath. Big deep breath. So let's gently start warming up. So we're going to do a little circle. So you're going to take your nose in a little circle. Going round. Slowly getting bigger and bigger. Find that crunching in your neck. Take it round. Shut your eyes if you feel dizzy. And then take it back the other way. Take it round. Big circles. Take it round. Getting smaller and smaller. And come back to the centre. Then we're going to lift the chin all the way up. And gently take it all the way down. So listen to your neck. Lift up. And down. Very good. Let's work the arms. I'm going to pop that down for a minute. Arms out to the side. Let's start with the wrists. So taking the whole arms out. Take the hands around. Work it round. And back the other way. Let's take it into the elbow. So arms coming down. And up and round. Big circles. Keep the elbows nice and high. And let's go back the other way. And then bring the arms across. Reaching up and stretching. Stretch it open. And last one. Hold it here, lift one arm up, big breath in. Exhale as you come up and over. And take it back. Let's go the other way. So if that doesn't feel comfortable, just pop your hand on your waist as you take it over to the side. If you can, let the arm slide down the leg and come back up. Stretching over. And to the centre, arms to the side. We're going to turn at the waist. So rotating round. Keep the hips forward. Side to side. Last one. And come back to the centre. We're going to do our balance exercise next. I'm just going to step off the mat. So we're going to take all the weight to one side. Keep those core muscles pulled in. And we're going to lift one leg up. And we're going to start with the foot. So we're going to take it in a little circle. Working round. And take it back the other way. Very good. Now I'm going to take it into the knee. So stirring with the toe, take it round. And back the other way. Go 
the wobbles on. And then we're going to take it right up into the hip. So lifting that leg, take it round. Very good. And back the other way. Whoops. I can't look at you and do this as well. <laughs> and shake it out. Let's do that on the other side. So find your balance. Lift the leg up. And we'll start with the toes. Work it round. So we're able, aiming to mobilise and stretch your whole body tonight. Take it back the other way. And take it into the knee. Stirring with the toe. And take it back. And then up into the hip. Big circles. And back again. And shake it out. Well done. Okay, we're going to come to the back of the mat now. So we're going to roll down and we're going to do a push up and then we're going to go straight into child's pose stretch. So are you ready? So big deep breath in. Exhale as you roll down. Rolling forward. We're going to walk forward. One, two, three. We're going to do a push up. We're going to come up and then we're going to push back. Push the heels down. Stretch it. And then slowly walk back up and roll back up. Going to do three more. To really stretch the back of your legs when you go back. Slowly rolling up. So when you get to your last one, we're going to do a child's pose stretch and then we're going to down. So push here, come back and stretch, stretch the feet out and then pop the knees down and push it right back. Give it a lovely stretch. Leaving the camera to a better position. And all the way. Are you ready for a swan dive? So hands either side of your face. Inhale to prepare. Exhale as you push up and stretch. Inhale as you come down. So you're stretching through the abs on the front of the body and rest it down. Really stretch up. Two more. Last one. And rest it down. Arms down by your sides. We're going to do the dart. So make sure those legs are nice and soft. Inhale to prepare. Exhale as you lift up. Squeeze the shoulders. Inhale as you come down. Squeeze it up. Rest it down. Very good. Two more. And rest it down. Let's come up onto the elbows and we're going to do one leg kick. Now, first thing we need to do is to tilt the pelvis. So push the pubic bone into the mat, free up that space underneath, and we're going to point, flex, and point and change. Point, flex, and point. Now if you want to make that a bit more intense, you're going to take your knee 
slightly off the floor. Point, flex, point. So just slightly lift the leg and then start. It's just going to give you a slightly deeper stretch. Point, flex, point. Point, flex, point. Point, flex, point, two more. Last one. And rest it down. Now we're going to get the band. I'm using a red one, not because it's easy, but so you can see it. I did think if I put a black one on, you might not see it. So you're going to pop it round your ankles. And then come back on your front. Stretch your arms out long and pull the shoulders down away from your ears ready for our swimming so inhale to prepare exhale as you lift and stretch so if you've got the band on you're just adding a little bit of resistance to that movement lift and stretch lift and stretch now if you want to work a little bit harder we're going to lift both arms and legs off the floor and we'll breathe in T three four five and out T three four five in T three four five out T three four five that feels too much just go back to your doing one side at a time and rest it down excellent up on your hands and knees let's stretch through the back so big deep breath in exhale as you tuck the tailbone under push that back up and let your head rest down and then starting at the tailbone tuck it down and roll through the body let's go up again and down Push up and down and up and down. Well done, very good. Come round onto your side and we're going to do some side bends. So let's slide the band off for a moment. We try and stretch right down the side. So we're going to come onto the elbow and we're going to hook the feet together. So this top leg, this foot is flat on the floor. Really important because that's where your weight's going to go. So from the side, easy option, you inhale and exhale as you just push up and take it down, keeping your hand on the floor and your knee on the floor. So that's your option one. Option two, the hand is going to come here and stretch up and over. And option three, legs a little bit further apart and as you come up, you're going to lift through the body. So you're trying to make that lovely arch, stretching through the side. Lift and stretch. Two more. Really stretch it right through the side of your body. So try and get that lovely arch shape right through the body. Last one. And rest it down. Let's come up and release your shoulder. Just release that. And then let's take it to the other side. So again, on your elbow, easy option. Just going to push up from here. Option two, keeping the knee down. Come up and over. Option three, pushing up and take it down. Somebody else trying to arm just and take it down. Up and over. Get that lovely stretch.
make sure you're controlling it so as you come down don't rush it work with control stretch it two more and last one and take it down and come back to the center and we're going to shoulders very good okay we're going to do a stretch for the inner thighs now so sitting up tall and straight as you can through your back soles of the so big deep breath in and as you exhale we're just going to push down on the knees so you're just trying to take the weight down and open those inner thighs. So stretch it out and gently. Big deep breath. Exhale, stretch it out. Pushing down and gently release. Push it down as you two more, really pushing down. So you're stretching the thighs down, opening up at the Always to the point of tension, not agony. And again. Stretch it open and release. Very good. Feet out in front. Let's do the saw. So we're going to start with the hands across the body just to make sure that it's the ribs that are leading the movement, not your arms. So start here. Inhale as you twist round. Exhale as you push forward. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you come back to the center. Inhale round. Exhale forward. Inhale up. Exhale back. Now let's do the arms, but make sure it's the ribs that are leading. And as you come forward, try and keep that opposite butt cheek glued to the floor. Take it round. One more each side. Last one. And come up to the centre. Feet together. Let's just find stretch forward. So arms forward. Inhale to prepare. Exhale as you reach. And reach. Stretching. Inhale here. And exhale as you slowly make your way back up. Make sure you tilt the pelvis before you start. So really get that stretch into your lower back. Gently taking it forward. forward. Get that lovely stretch. And slowly, slowly, make your way back up. Okay, we're going to go to the side again now. So we're going to lie down side this time. It's a nice long straight line. And we're going to bend the underneath leg. Now we're going to do circles with this top leg. So we're going to start small. And then we're going to get bigger, so make sure you've got space behind you. So we're going to come in little circles forward for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take it back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Um, one. Now we're going to go into a great big circle. So round, two, three, four, five. Well, I can see your lovely feet going round. Six, seven, eight. Let's take it back the other way. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that leg forward, so drop this knee forward, and then the underneath leg, we're going to do little circles coming forward. From one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take it back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest it down. Grab hold of your fans and we're going to pop it over your knees. So bring the knees forward. So knees forward, feet glued together. Core muscles pulled in. You have to prepare. Exhale as you push that knee up and control. Controller. Firm. Nice. Roll the clothes. So you're trying to mobilize the hip. Work those glutes. Let's do two more. Last one. And take it down. We're going to do the chest open up. So come forward if you need to. Make sure you've got space behind you. Both arms. Knees glued to the floor. Inhale to prepare and exhale as you lift up and stretch back behind you. Inhale as you. So if you haven't quite got enough space, just stop. Stretch it open. Two more. Last one. Up to the centre. And let's swing the legs round to the other side. So you can take your hoop off for a moment. Come round on the other way. Ready for those leg circles? So underneath leg softly bent, top leg straight. Coming forward. Little circles first. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take it back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Big circle coming forward. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's take it back the other way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Drop that knee forward. Let's pick the underneath leg up in little circles this way. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's take it back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest it down. Grab your band, put both feet in your band. Bring it up above the knees. Ready for the clamp. So knees forward, core muscles pulled in. Inhale to prepare. Exhale as you push up. Inhale as you. Hip. 
spot. Come back down. Back. Good, and then make yourself some space. Ready to do your chest opener. So both arms out in front. Inhale to prepare. Exhale as you lift and stretch. Lift and stretch. Two more. Last one. And then come up to the side. And let's stretch up and over. Reaching across. And release. Well done. Are you ready to come around on your backs? It's going to lie on our backs now. Let's take the band off for a minute. So come down, let's find your set up position. Let's find that neutral spine. I'm crunching in your pelvic floor. So we're going to start today with one leg stretch. So we're going to bring the knee in. We're going to stretch the other leg away and we're going to hold on here. Now you can keep your head down or you can curve up. We're going to hold it again. Now we're going to stretch the leg away. Go ahead and stretch. And stretch. And stretch. Legs into tabletop position. Inhale to prepare. Exhale as you push the legs away. And inhale as you come back. Exhale out. Inhale back. Full exercise curling into your little ball. We're going to stretch and sweep. Stretch and sweep. Stretch and sweep. Very good. Two more. Last one. 
last one. And rest it down. And again, release the neck. Well done. We're going to do the the band. So pop one foot in the band. And get that leg as straight as you can. So we're going to use the band to steer. We're going to keep the hips perfectly still. Inhale as you come over. And exhale as you come And round. Pull it in towards you. Take it round. Big up. So we're going to do about eight in one direction. I think that's about three. So we're going to go eight in one direction. And then take it back in the opposite direction. Again for about eight. Really using the band to help you pull that leg in towards you. And then when you've done your eight, just hold your leg here. Push your tailbone into the ground. Inhale. And as you exhale, just gently pull that leg in. Pull it in towards you. As straight as you can. And I know if you've got tight hips or hamstrings, you won't have to get it in too far. That's fine. Just as far as you can go, as long as you feel that stretch. Big deep breath. And release it. Let's change over to the other leg. So the easiest way is just to pop the second one in. And then we're going to take the leg across the body, down, round and out. So again, let's do eight in each direction. Work it round. Work it round. Really mobilising into the hip. Lost count, but I think that's about eight. Let's take it the other way. Work it round. You've done roughly eight. We're going to pull it in again. Push your tailbone down and pull that leg in towards you. Stretch down the back of your leg. I told you it was a stretchy session. Big stretch. And release. Well done. Release your band. And let's flick the hand out. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to take the band and I'm going to put both feet inside it and bring it up above your knees. So we want it flat on your legs, above your knees. And we're going to do our coordination exercise. Now, if, if your back's giving you any trouble today, put your feet on the floor and just work from here. And we're going to stretch the opposite arm and leg away. If you can, it will be legs in tabletop position, and we're going to stretch from here. Lovely controlled movement, stretching through your body. Lengthening away, looking good. Last one each side. And rest it down. Very good. Okay, so we're going to do the bridge now. So feet and knees hip width apart. Make sure you've got that soft curve on your spine. Take a deep breath. Exhale as you flatten your back to the floor. Squeeze the glutes, slowly lift the hips up. One bone at a time. Inhale at the top. And exhale as you roll down. Rolling down through the spine. Not onto your mic. Big, big breath in. Exhale 
and she push up. Squeeze those glutes and push it down. Two more. Roll it down one more. We've lost some, so we're going to roll it back and come up. Now if you can, we're going to stop at the top. So this time we're going to roll back, hold it here and stretch the arms and legs. Tuck it back in, roll, come up and stretch. Couple more. down onto the mat. We're going to go into the supine leg twist. So arms out to the side. We're going to push the knees to one side. Take the head all the way over. Come back and come over and stretch it out. Going from side to side. Pushing over. Now on the next one, we're going to push all the way over. We're going to bring that top knee in towards you. Grab hold of it with your hand and stretch across the body. So you're opening across the chest and you're um, stretching right through the thighs. Pull it over. Stretch it across. Let's come to the other side, take it over, bring that knee in towards you, look behind you and stretch. Take a deep breath. And release it. Bring your knees into your chest, roll them round. Roll it round. Back the other way. And then stretch the arms and legs away, stretching through the front of your body. Great job. I think you've earned a few minutes of relaxation. So bring your arms down by your sides. Make yourself comfortable. And just focus on your breath. Big deep breaths. 
Inhale, the lungs full of oxygen. And exhale deeply, getting rid of any stale air. Big deep breaths. Let your feet relax. Release any tension around the toes and the ankles. Let your shins and calves relax. Let your knees be soft. Let your thighs relax. Let your hips be soft and open. And let your deep abdominal muscles relax. Fill them with oxygen. Let them relax and recover. Let your neck and shoulders be soft. Let your hands and arms relax. Let your face be soft. Just focusing on your breath. Big deep breaths. So everything relax and recover. Imagine let the awareness come back to your feet. Let the awareness come back through your legs. Into your torso. Into your hands and arms. Gradually bring your face back to full awareness. Slowly come on to one side. Gradually make your way back up to sitting. And let's take a few big deep breaths from here. So we're going to breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Two more. Last one. And bring one hand here and one hand here. And give yourselves a big clap. Well done, everybody. Good job.